Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer and uh, this is the Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 Express tutorial number 8 and in this tutorial we're going to be covering nested if statements. Now what you can do with if statements is you can nest them inside of each other. Now if you don't know what this means, this basically means I can have this if statement right here and let's get rid of this that's left over from the last tutorial. So I can have this if statement and I can type another if statement inside of it and I can uh, theoretically do this as many times as I want. So let's go ahead and uh, make a little demo application, application that will show you how this works and uh, how you can implement it. So you can see here from the last tutorial we have console.writeline what is your name. So ask the user what their name is and it stores that in uh, the variable name by using string name equals console dot read line it says read the next line of characters from the standard input stream so now we created an if statement so if the string name and we're converting that to lowercase so if that's equal to Sam so they can basically type whatever they want so they can type Sam they can type Sam and that will all still work even though we're comparing it to this lowercase um, Sam right here because we converted theirs to lowercase too so if their name is Sam, um, then let's go ahead and say welcome. So now that we've welcomed um, them, let's go ahead and say what is your password. So now it's asking for the password. So we'll just go ahead and create an if statement to compare that password. So instead of creating a whole new variable for the password, um, I can just go ahead and use that in the if statement itself. So if console dot read line. So read line is a function that returns a string. So we can use this as a string itself and compare it to other strings. So whatever they type in is going to be returned by this and it's going to be using it here. So that's basically using this. Uh, whatever they typed in um, inside quotes, it's, it's the same idea. It does exactly the same thing. So we'll type console dot read line and we'll say if that equals um, on live gamer and since it's a password we want it to be case sensitive so we'll not we won't convert that to a lowercase even though we possibly could yes we could convert that to a lowercase but we're not going to do that so if it's on live gamer then we're going to say console dot write line and we'll say you have root permissions and now if it's anything else we're just going to say else so if they type anything else other than online gamer we'll just say console dot right line wrong password and then we'll just say terminating And we'll go ahead and end that. And we'll come down here and we, you can see we have this console.read line here, so it's not going to close right when we're done. So let's go ahead and run this. It says, what is your name? So I just type Sam. Say, what is your password? I say, on live gamer. And it says, you have root permissions. Now let's go ahead and run this again. And I'll type Sam. And if I type anything else, it says, wrong password, terminating. And I press enter, it closes. Now if I type anything else, it's just going to do that. And since we didn't write any code for that, um, it's not going to actually do anything after that. We could have it say, um, who are you, uh, just by using a, a simple else right here. So go ahead and do that yourself. Try to make a uh, add some code to it that will handle if uh, somebody else tries to log in. And uh, once you do that and you practice with nested if statements, Go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.